My name is David Wyban, and I'm an Applications Engineer with Keithley Instruments. Today, I'm going to show you how to perform a simple breakdown test on a high-voltage IGBT device using the new Keithley Model 2657A High Power System Source Meter Instrument and the Model 8010 High Power Device Test Fixture. Now, making connections from the Model 2657A to a device is simple using the Model 8010 Test Fixture. First, connect the Model 2657A to the Model 8010 using high voltage Triax cables. Three cables provides for four wire remote sensing capability. However, for two wire local sensing, only two cables are required. These cables also carry a guard signal to the fixture, providing for picoamp level measurements even at 3000 volts. Second, Connect the interlock cable from the digital I.O. port of the Model 2657A to the interlock input connector of the Model 8010. The Model 8010 is equipped with redundant dual interlock safety switches, ensuring that when the lid of the test fixture is opened, the high voltage output is disabled, maximizing system safety. Third, place the device in the test socket and route the smooth signals to the device. The high terminal of the source meter instrument is routed to the collector of the device, while the low terminal is routed to the emitter. The gate of the device is tied to the emitter, ensuring that the gate to emitter voltage remains at zero. Finally, close the lid and secure the latch. A light on the front of the Model 8010 lights up indicating that the interlock is engaged. From here we're ready to begin testing. On the screen is our free TSB Express software, which is loaded from the web page built into the Model 2657A. It's a great tool that you can use to perform simple tests and collect data very quickly. Now, I've already configured the project to perform a 101 point linear sweep, sourcing voltage and measuring both current and voltage. I've configured the sweep to start at 0 volts and to end at just over 2800 volts, right where the device just begins to break down. What we expect to see from the collected data is for the current to increase slowly as the voltage increases and then to suddenly increase at the very end, indicating that the device is broken down. To run the test, simply click the green arrow at the top of the screen. The arrow will turn gray indicating that the test is running and it will turn green again when the test is completed. To view the data from the test, simply click on the Data tab. On the data tab, we can see the data displayed in a tabular format. We can see the current readings on the left and the voltage readings on the right. We can also display the data in a graphical format by going to the display menu and selecting graph. On this graph, we've chosen to display the voltage readings on the x-axis and the current readings on the y-axis. When we examine the graph, we can see that as the voltage increases, the current increases gradually until at the very end the current increases suddenly, indicating that the device is broken down. To save this data for later graphing and analysis, simply click the export button. Give the file a name and click save. As you can see, Using TSB Express and the Model 2657A High Power System Source Meter Instrument, you can quickly and easily perform simple tests like this device breakdown test. Thanks for watching.